पिघले नीलम सब बहता हुआ ये समा नीली नीली सी खामोशियाँ ना कहीं है जमीन ना कहीं आसमान सरसराती हुई टहनियाँ पत्तिया कह रही है कि बस एक तुम हो यहाँ सिर्फ मैं हूँ मेरी सांसें हैं और मेरी धड़कनें ऐसी गहराइयाँ ऐसी तन्हाइयाँ और मैं सिर्फ मैं अपने होने पे मुझको यकीन आ गया Hey guys, it's day two and we have just left our hotel. It's one uh, p.m. right now and we are heading to Arjuna Cafe. From there, our journey will start and adventure will start and then keep you guys posted. Uh, we have just reached our Juna Cafe, and uh, we're gonna get some food here. I'll show you the place around. This is an amazing place that is filled with lots of beautiful, beautiful artifacts, and the cafe is completely covered with books. So it's a very lively place to be. So I'll show you the place around, and then we'll hit the road once we eat something at Juna Cafe. There's a table inside Arjuna Cafe, and that's going to be the place. It's really crowded. There's lots of people here, and it's a very well decorated place. The place has a very nice wooden touch to it. It feels very warm and cozy inside here. So we'll get some food now. I'll make some beer and show you the place around. I'll show you guys. Guys, we have just left Arjuna Cafe. We had an absolutely amazing brunch. We had so much food. I can't tell you how fulfilling the entire food experience was. And uh, we had a lot of food items. I think. Right, yeah. I think. I think the best way to show it to you guys is in the B roll only because I don't even remember what we ate. But we ate to our heart's content. And but we don't. Know, we do know one thing. That each and every food item was fabulously delicious, absolutely. especially about amazing. the mango smoothie. Yes, yes, yes. Mango smoothie is amazing. I think one mango smoothie had like five, six mangoes in yeah, it, so yeah. like absolutely amazing. So amazing. we had a really good time. Now we're gonna go out and guys, what's the plan next? We're we are heading out. to Miramar Beach. We will go do some cruise and then probably have some uh, visit the forts at uh, Old Goa. We'll do some charge and then probably we'll see where we'll spend the evening. So we'll see where the wind takes us and we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna keep you guys posted. See you guys. Hey guys, we just reached Miramar Beach right now, and uh, we are going to hop on a cruise. Watch a dolphin dance show and enjoy the sunset on a cruise on the Arabian Sea. So that's the plan now. I'll show you around, and that's how we have a good time. So guys, we just booked a 
cruise ride right now and we are heading towards our cruise and uh, it will show us dolphins and will take us for a ride along the lines of Arabian Sea for one hour so we are hoping we will be able to catch the sunset while we are in the cruise and let's hope we have a good time So after our cruise adventure at Miramar Beach, it is time to head back. But we had the most incredible pit stop. Hey guys, so we were actually on our way to Arpura Night Market. But on the way, we happened to just spot this incredibly majestic and beautiful church. And we knew that we, had, we just had to take a detour. And so here I'm going to show you the beauty of this church. Just look at this. So right now guys, we are in front of Ma De Deus Church and this is absolutely beautiful. This is worth the detour. So that spotted it and we decided to take a pit stop here and look at this absolutely beautiful church. And the church is closed right now because it's 8 30 in the evening now. So I got a few hyperlinks I'll share with you guys and just absolutely enjoy this beautiful church. And after that, it took us around two hours to get back to our hotel. We got fresh, had our dinner and call it a night because we had one final day in Goa after that. And this was going to be a blast. Hey guys, it's time to enjoy some water. Hey guys, uh, so right now we have reached Kalangot Beach and the scene here is absolutely lively. As you can see, it's 2 pm right now, and we're gonna try out some water sports. We're gonna do jet ski, parasailing, and we're gonna have a lot of fun. So, I'm gonna make some b-roll and show you the place around. Hey guys, so right now we are on the way to do some water sports side. How what do you feel about? The water sport that we have planned ahead. I'm really pumped. I wanted to do parasailing and yeah, it's time. gonna happen right now and I'm really pumped up. Yes, for parasailing, then we're also gonna do jet skiing yeah. and a few other water sports. So I'll show you around and we are gonna have a good time. Right now we are walking in the sand. We're going to a place called Ohm Shack. So it's absolutely chill. So guys, we are right now at the Kalangut beach and uh, we are going to do some water sports right now. Uh, we will probably try the jet ski, parasailing, speed boat and maybe the banana boat ride. And we are really pumped up right now. As you can see like at the backdrop, the people are enjoying the water sports here. It's an absolutely bright and sunny day around here and we are extremely excited. Today is the last day of our Goa trip and I think it's going to be the most exciting part of our entire Goa trip today. We look forward to giving you some shots or how our experience went. So till then stay tuned. Bye bye. Ciao. Do with your broken heart. You have to move on. Do with your broken
broken heart No matter what you think You'll never ever get enough of love Done with jet ski. Now we are waiting for banana ride, and the boys are having fun. We are a very fun ride. The ride was short, but was surprisingly fun. And when the waves hit the jet ski, then there's a little bit of turbulence on the body, but it usually feels good. And we had an amazing experience. Now waiting for the next ride. Hey guys, so right now we are already done with our jet ski. It's an amazing day right here. You can see everybody is enjoying like this said. He had a really good time. First time inside the water. Awesome. Doing water sports. This is uh, Oscar and Oscar had really good time. So now we are waiting for the banana boat ride and after that we will try to go for the uh, parasailing which is like one of the best things that I am looking forward to. So see you you know when uh, we are done with it. Till then stay tuned. We've been driving around singing songs way too loud because we wanna Guys, tell me right now, how was the experience? It was awesome! Memorable! Memorable! memorable. memorable. Full guys, hyped up, full power! <laughs> so, hey guys, we are just done with our banana boat ride and the bumper car ride, and towards the end of the banana boat ride, it was an exciting experience. We all went down the water and you know it was the first experience of that nature and you know we we had the best time of our lives right now we are waiting for our parasailing to happen all of us are ex very excited as you can see in the background lots of water activities happening today bright sunny day towards you know uh, towards this part of the state and uh, we'll just keep you updated You know, as I sat there watching the sunset, I suddenly realized that there's a last sunset in Goa, at least for a while. So I turned off my camera for the remaining few hours of our trip. So this is what happened in the last few hours of our trip. We played some beach football, did some shopping, and it was time to pack our bags and head back home. And we did that while being sleep deprived for back to back three to four nights. A lot was about to change. And maybe that's why we rocked so hard on that trip. Every single one of us walked away with the greatest week of our lives. And it's not that ki Goa tha to isle ho gaya. No. It's us who made it special. A group that has history. A group that has stuck together and endured together. But a lot changed in the year 2022. I left my old job and became a full-time editor. Arnab left his job to fulfill his passion. Went to UK's Lancaster University to do his MBA. Siddharth and Sahil shifted to Bangalore to fulfill their destiny. AB became my roommate. Kostav became a lawyer. Kauri now solo travels a lot. And Samujalla? Well, he got married. Yes, a brother got married. We all reunited for Samujalla's wedding except Arnab because he was in UK. This reminds me of something that I heard a while back. It says that if you want to go fast, go alone. But if you want to go far, then go together. So big cheers to every single one of you. You guys are the reason why 2022 was the best year of my life. And I have a feeling 2023 is going to be even bigger. Some toughness.